I'm Florian, I work as a senior lecturer uh, for Deakin University. And um, yeah, so in my daily work, I obviously work with data for research projects, a lot of unstructured data, um, a lot of text. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm aware of all the data science, machine learning uh, solutions for it, and, uh, but I want to upgrade my skills. So I think that was, I was on the lookout for a program that would teach that. And um, I don't know, I, I can't remember how I came across it, but it looked, uh, it looked good. <laughs> and uh, I think I started with a, a boot camp, the data science boot camp. And then you brought this one out and that felt a little bit more fitting to my needs. And then I had some funding available from a research, uh, it wasn't a grant, it was a research prize egg actually. And so I thought that was, would be a good use like for that because it was supposed to help, um, uh, yes. And then obviously, yeah, amping up my skills in how to use text for analysis. Not so much the pipelining and the product of it. Um, yeah, so those were the main like motivations. You can learn all these things, not these things that we learned here, but a lot of the things that would build the basics, probably through YouTube or Coursera and all these things, but it requires a lot of substantive self-motivation and it's not as engaging. Um, so I think that was one of the reasons why I felt an in-person experience is better and I think that's, that, that is great. It's five days, you're condensed with other people working on similar type problems um, and you have good conversations. And so my favorite talk was from Kartik who presented about Nebula, but that was more around the specificity of the data that he was working with because it was most relevant to projects that I've worked with and some of the problems he presented felt familiar and it was interesting to get an industry perspective about it. Um, the industry talk, they helped in breaking things up um, a, a lot, just in terms of the learning. So in terms of variety of learning, I thought that was helpful. Um, sometimes it is nice to understand what industry is, what are the industry issues. So, but in terms of the learning design, it was good breaking these things up um, because otherwise it would probably be a bit too dense in terms of uh, learning all the concepts and the coding. But yeah, from that perspective, I thought it was helpful. If you wanna take a lot out of it, having a little bit of coding experience, then you, then this kind of format is probably the best. Yeah, I was thinking about PhD students who wanna learn this kind of thing. I think it's de definitely helpful from a research perspective um, uh, to get exposure to a lot of great material and uh, get a head start of what's happening. I thought that was actually the best thing is to know being ahead of the curve a little, uh, actually not a little bit, a lot of it, which is probably, I don't know, a year time or so, <laughs> to the things like that are happening. I thought that that was the most interesting bit. And that probably regardless whether you work in industry or you work in academia.